Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting, so it's Friday freebie day today. Um, we are back with number 141, so I have this lovely little collage page for you. I do love collages at the moment, don't I? So I've got another one with you, but I thought we'd pop a little girl in here and would you like a journal topper? Um, which will be nice, but obviously you can make whatever you like with it. We have got some dragonfly wings, we have a little girl, and I have some lovely bits of ephemera on there, which I am loving. Now to go with this, I have got something for my wonderful Kofi uh, supporters, and this is a sort of like a collage page. Now this goes um, together lovely. So um, if you are a one-off supporter or a monthly member, you will get this. So pop over to a Kofi um, and you can print this off as well, which is lovely. Now I have used this in the Friday freebie book, so I'll show you what I have made in a minute. But the first thing is, I'm going to show you this one. And this is what we're going to make today. And I just thought this was fab to go on front of a journal. Um, or you can use it as a nice big journaling card. Now all it is, is I've got some tea stain paper on the back. And a piece of recycled card in between. And then I've just collaged over the top. Um, which I love. And this is one of my words and phrases. Um, I'll pop a link to these as well. It says, be bold, be brave, be you, um, which I am loving. I popped a little bit of gesso on there. Little rose, a little bit of lace, and some of my rose trim, which I haven't used for a little while, but I think that looks great. Now, for the Friday freebie, so I just thought, if you haven't, if you've got a nice like, journal made, look at that. Doesn't that look a lovely on there? So it would look perfect on the front of a journal. Now this is quite a big one. Um, so I'm going to show you how I used it in here. Now I've done a double page. Now this almost turned out like a sort of like a mixed media, didn't it? Uh, which I got a little bit carried away with this morning, which I enjoyed doing. So what I've done, I've popped this, I cut this in half and I put half on this side and half on that side. And then I've got the elements from on here, which I've added as well. So if you look, I have made it into a pocket here. So it looks like little secret pockets. So we've got one there, I've got one there, one there, I have one in there, and then I have this one here, which I love. So it just looks like a plain page, but you've got lots of, lots of little bits where you can pop things in. Now, I've given her a little crown on this one. Now, how I did that, where is it? I have got this, which is the shrink plastic. Now, I've got a video on this. I'll try and remember and pop the link to it, which I've sort of like jelly printed onto here um, and then shrunk it down. So I just cut out like a little crown and popped it on there. Little butterfly with some lace and, of course, a little bit of stickles on there. And then it says, think outside the box. So that's how I have popped it into our Friday freebie um, booklet, book called Journal. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, I've got a piece of card. Now, this is just from a cereal package. Um, and it's 11 by 14 centimetres or four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So that's how I've done that. I'm going to pop that to the side. That's how I've cut it out. So I'm going to pop her and the little wings to the side. And then what we can do, we can just stick this on. Where's my glue? Here we go. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the pieces. Now what I've done, I have inked around the edges. And on this one, I have also sewn around the edge as well, um, which I'm loving, which looks good. So it is lovely to be back making videos again. Um, I had the most amazing time with my family. Um, it has been a fabulous Easter. And I want to say a big, big thank you to you all for all your fabulous um, birthday wishes and emails and messages. I really, really do appreciate it. It is just wonderful. So what should we do? Should we put this one on here? So yes, I've had fabulous times. I've had my two beautiful granddaughters here. 
um, and they are just growing up so so quickly and they are just so gorgeous so I do feel extremely lucky um, but it's been amazing we have crammed in a huge amount of things we have done um, so we are quite exhausted I think they took quite a long time to get home bless them it took because they drove down from Spain um, and it took them all day they are, have got a camper they came down in a camper um, but they didn't actually camp here they were in a hotel um, but they were absolutely exhausted going back because bless her little Sophia doesn't like to travel too well um, she likes to get up and walk around which is not really possible so they had to stop quite a lot but they got home all nice and safe so I will we will be Andy and myself will be going up there in September for my daughter's birthday so we will have a nice little road trip then which will be good so what should we do oh I was going to put that one the other way let's just take that off put this down so yes, fun pack. So I hope you guys have all had a lovely Easter for all of you that celebrate. Um, which was nice. There we go. And you have had a nice busy time. Nice crafty time. I haven't done much crafting at all. So it's nice to be back up here. I need to get back into a little routine um, again which I will. They left on Monday, so we've been tiddling about this week getting some things sorted for Friday freebies and new kits that are going to come out. Get ourselves a little bit more organised. Okay, so that is the collage now I've done it like that so you can do it however you like obviously just stick them on I've given you sort of like pieces so they can just overlap um, but I looks I think that looks really good and what I'm going to do I'm going to take a little piece of tea stain paper I'm going to take my bigger pot of glue now this is the glue that I use which is the tacky craft glue which I pop into here but I'm going to use it because it's going to be a bit bigger, a bit quicker to pop onto here. I think I've got this listed in my um, Amazon storefront. So let's just stick that on there like that. Stick that down. Now I'm going to sew around this but obviously you don't have to sew if you're not a sewer like that. Just make sure that you stick it down nicely. Let's turn that over with my little squidgy card. There it is. Nice lot of glue everywhere. I think I overloaded that but that's okay it doesn't matter cut this off like this make sure it's all nice and tidy or oh, well you don't have to have it tidy you can have it all grungy so this is a good one if you're not one that does a collage or you find it difficult to do collage this is really really simple to do and it's a good start it's a good starting point as well so that's really simple and I think that looks really nice so what I'm going to do I'm going to clean up my glue big messy I'm just going to quickly run the sewing machine around there so it'll be two seconds okay so that is lovely so that's just sewn around the edge like that just with a just a quick little running stitch so let me pop all these bits together that can go over there now what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop a little bit of gesso on here just to obviously you don't have to um, but I'm going to just add a little bit of gesso around here you can just stick the little 
little girl on as she is. I'm just going to add a little bit of gesso because when I pop the um, stibolo, go around the edges with the stibolo, it picks up all these nice little bits from the gesso which I like. So just a little bit like that. Don't put too much on because you can just sort of like um, overdo it a little bit. If you don't have gesso you can use a little bit of white paint. A little bit of acrylic paint on there will work. So let's just put that on like that. That will do. Pop my brush in the water because I tend to forget mess I'm making. I'm going to quickly dry this. There we go, that will do. Let's squish it a little bit wet still, but that's okay. Let's pop that to the side a sec and then we're going to stick her little wings on. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tacky glue. I'm going to stick it on just like that and this one just like that pop it on and I just think these just look so cute okay so that's on nicely what I thought I've got these ones I'm going to do it in red so I'm going to pop a little red rose on there. This is just um, some trim. And then I've got the little red trim for her little top bit. So that was the purple one. And then we're going to do this one in red. So let's just, I think I might just give that another quick dry. There we go, that will do. And then we pop her in the middle. What was the word? Oh, here we go. I got this one which says spread spread your wings and fly. So if we have her just maybe we'll pop you a little bit further up and we just have that along the bottom. Just like that. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. Stick her down. She can just go down with some tacky glue or whatever glue you would like to use. There we go. Um, I was going to say to you guys, if you have any ideas or things you'd like to see in the Friday freebies or what you'd like me to make, please let me know. Give me some ideas. Um, and then I will see what I can do. I can see what I can come up with. So there we are. That's stuck down. Let's stick this on. So like I said before, this is really simple. If you're new to collage, new to doing a sort of like, this is more of a, almost a bit of a mixed media one, isn't it? So try and get you guys to do a little bit of mixed media. It's so much fun. Now I'm going to take my little Stibolo. Now this is a water soluble pencil, um, which is really good. So if you've got any sort of like water soluble pencils, watercolors or anything like that, you can use those. I'm just going to go just a little bit around some of these edges like this. Just a little bit. And it just gets you into doing um, just something a little bit different and it doesn't ma matter how it turns out um, I think they all look really nice now on the f on the page that I did I actually used a few um, water soluble crayons as well so this just sort of like you know gives it a nice little shadow around it and because we've got the gesso it sort of like picks it up a little bit better and it protects the, the paper underneath. So because we're getting it wet, it's not going to sort of buckle up the paper. Like that. So 
just around which I just for some reason I just feel quite happy doing mixed media things like this at the moment I think it just makes you I know it's quite freeing you don't have to think too much about doing things just let it just let it happen which is what I am loving at the moment Let's pop a little bit there look. so you can see how it picks up the um, gesso do you know what I mean it goes onto the paper and onto the gesso like that and it gives this lovely um, texture on there if you put a little bit of black pencil or something like that a little bit of watercolour around the edges it just gives it that lovely um, sort of like the depth to your work Can you see it's sort of like the shadows there so nice little bit of mixed media this week Now again, like I said, you don't have to do it like this. You can just stick them on, stick them onto your pages, however you like. But this is another way of doing it, which will take you out of your comfort zone just a little bit if you're not used to doing mixed media. Let's move her around a bit. Okay, look at that. Don't you think that looks really, really lovely? I do. So we won't do it too much. That will do. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac just to pop on her little rose crown. Like that. Pop a little rose crown on. a little rose embellishment so this is just if you, this comes in like a, a strip so I've just sort of like cut it off this was a random one it was just in one of my little pots but I thought that would just pop on there like that and I just think that looks lovely doesn't it super super nice and then we have two of them there oh, I forgot to use a bit of stickles now we have to have a little bit of sparkle let's pop a little bit of sparkle on her wings because dragonflies have nice sparkly wings don't they so let's just pop it at the top like that perfect so there we go guys that is your friday freebie for this week so i just think they look so so pretty and again we have it also in our lovely journal so who doesn't like a little a little girl like that in um a little bit of fantasy isn't it so this one says spread your wings and fly this one says think outside the box and this one is be bold, be big, be bold, be brave, be you, um, which I just think they all look really, really lovely. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Pop over to the to the Facebook group and you'll be able to print this off. All the details are underneath. So you need to be um, in the group to do that. So you can join the group. The details will be under the video. And then if you are one of my wonderful um, Kofi um supporters either the monthly or the one-off supporters you can go over and print this off as well and don't forget i have lots of other little um freebie print offs and stuff for you if you are a um, supporter on the kofi as well so please do a pop over and take a look so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um please stay safe take care have a fantastic weekend and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.